Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Larry, and that there is Tom. Yep. Hey guys, I want to show you something. The chicken survived the nasty heat wave. Because let me tell you, it was like 97 two days in a row with the heat index like 104 or something like that. It was hot. It was unbearable. I mean, we're not really we're not really used to that kind of heat. No. Um, but the chickens all survived, so I guess it worked with the pool in the back. They're all saying how happy they are now. But, I get... <laughs> but they're all, uh... they all want to be on camera. See, they're all talking right now. But anyway, yeah, so I guess the pool worked, kept keeping them cool, the cold grapes, that worked. People were talking about like, all right, let's go over here because they're going to keep yapping now. People were talking about how um, I should get a mister and stuff like that. I'm not looking to spend a whole lot of money for this, you know, for there's ways I can keep them cool that's cheaper for me, you know? Right, plus usually we don't have like that consistent of large heat like that. Right, right, we have like a, a, a day or two. Like, today's hot. Today's uh, supposed to be right around 90 or 91. Something around there. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be really hot. But then a cold front's coming through and then it's gonna go back down into the 80s. So it's not a consistent thing. We get a couple days real hot and then a couple days decently is that a bird or is that a something what, where? branches? See the branches? Oh yeah. That was a squirrel. He's eating my huckleberries. I just saw his tail. Well that's not Look, loud. See him? See him moving around like that? I, his squirrel tail? I see the branches, but I don't I oh, know I do see the tail now. Oh, he just ran away. Yeah, he was going to town on them. Anyway, so um yeah, so they survived, and of course they're going to have a day or two of heat here. And I'll just keep that pool, I'll, I'll dump it out, the warm water, put cold water in there. Keep them, keep them as cool as I can. But anyway, a lot of people hit me up in the comment section, which I really thanked um, for their different opinions on things and stuff like that. Um, and like I said, I'm not looking to spend a whole lot of money. I'm looking to try to just keep them cool and alive, you know. So, here's the big news. The fence is finally completed. That it is. And uh, yeah, so I want to get a closer look at it. So we even the caps are all on. And I want to address a few things on that uh, on that front because I read a lot of the because uh, I do read the comments on this channel. Tom takes care of the other channel. Anyway, there was a lot of people sitting there saying, well, not a lot, but. I could see through it. Well, we knew when we got it. I guess we made a mistake when I, when we titled it uh, "Privacy Fence," and I probably said it on there too. But, but when I was talking about privacy, I was talking about that when when he's watering his plants or he's over there, it doesn't look like he's standing on my property. Yeah, you know, that's all I wanted. I, I, I mean, this is more than the green bushes were before. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly what we wanted. Right, we wanted more obstructive view yeah. than... But all the caps are on. It's completely done. Tom was a big help with that because he helped put it... Now Joe helped me with the first two sections. And then Tom helped me with the last two. A lot faster than it was with him. <laughs> yeah, your, your fingers are a lot more nimble that you can thread it back through easier than Joe. Plus you can get up and down a lot faster than Joe can too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... It's completely done now. Now I don't have to worry about. It. Also, I want to address like somebody was saying, um, first windstorm, it's gonna, it's gonna come down. Nah, that's that's false. Um, and there's a couple reasons why. First of all, yesterday it was probably about 40 mile an hour winds. Yesterday it was insane. And look at that, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Also, these posts with that 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 stuff is really strong. These posts are solid in the ground. It ain't coming down unless uh, now branches could fall off the tree and break it, in which case I would have to put a new section. That would be more bamboo. likely. Yeah, that's more likely to happen, but those posts ain't coming out, guys. And somebody else had said something about that they read on the package where it says for decks. Yes, it does, but it also says not for structural use. So that's kind of like, you know, kind of like yeah, but doesn't really opposite kind of things there, guys. Sense. I would not use it for a deck because of people walking on top of it and everything like that. However, maybe the more I used it, the more confidence I would have in it and everything, but it, these posts are very sturdy, but they're not as sturdy as concrete. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I would use concrete for, for posts on, on decks, but usually you don't even have to use that. You could just use um, patio blocks underneath it, you know, um, on decks. So anyway, there's that. I wanted to address those things though. All right. Definitely address those. Uh, Speaking of decks, what's up with the uh, gap right there? Oh, I have the lattice off. Because little Logan was over here and he was walking by the, the corner here and he got stung. I think he was only like right here. And really? he got stung for no reason. He didn't touch. So I had seen bees flying around here. It was a hornet's nest because I looked underneath oh, it. A hornet? Yeah, yeah. And you can actually see, I don't know how good the camera is. Uh, I'm going to pick that up. There it is back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me get it. Let me get it. I can barely fit through this. It used to be a lot easier. Yeah, it didn't really leave yourself a huge gap there. Well, I was a lot, uh, I was a lot skinnier when I made it. Uh. Anyway, that's it right there. Oh, yeah. And this is the, uh, all the eggs on it. Part of it just fell off. I yeah. should be careful down. Oh, you know what? There's a there's one on side inside here. I'm gonna have to get my wasp spray and spray it. There's a lot more eggs in there. Ah. I, I must have missed the top floor. So when I'm down here, I might as well look to see if there's any other ones. Yeah, you I might as well. Any. All right, let me try to get out of this birthing canal. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. When I was skinnier, I didn't even have to suck my gut in. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a top floor of this. Mm. So yeah, so uh, see, there's the eggs. This was like this, and there's actually one as big as this on top. And then this was over there. So there was a lot of bees in there. Yeah. And uh, obviously they're not done because there's one on there right now. Yeah, now you need to take care of that. Yeah, so th anyway, it was uh, Logan's first bee sting. Huh. He's never been sung before. So we're, we were watching them all week last week. So, you know, we're like, uh-oh, is he allergic to bees? Luckily, thank God he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, luckily. Yeah. But I mean, he cried because it was, uh, you oh, know, hornet. It's a hornet sting. And hornets hurt. So, yeah. Oh, I have this little tab there. Why didn't you tell me? There, I didn't notice better. it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, he got stung. Poor little kid. But at least he got, they got that out of the way. So now he knows. He's not allergic to bees. Very true. Right, so now he can get stung left and right. Well, maybe not that. I remember Tom, I think you were like, you might have been five, six, seven, eight, somewhere in that area. I forget how old exactly you were, but uh -huh. you got stung, I think it was right here, by a yellow jacket. Was it up at the church? Yeah, it was at the church and uh, it was their fall festival. And, uh, and that's usually when yellow jackets in the fall get really, <laughs> like they just sting for no reason. Yeah. Flew on Tom's face, stung him, and all Tom did was went like that. That was it. And then of course somebody had a Benadryl, a Benadryl, Benadryl stick, and they put it on there. Yeah. I, I see. I don't remember that too. I remember it happening. I remember it hurting. I don't remember my reaction to it though. So I guess. It, yeah. It was basically you just rubbed it like that, and that was it. See, I thought that I like slapped at it and that's what made no, it sting me. No, it just stung you. Huh. You probably was eating something and you got something on your face and it landed there. Maybe that's you awesome. touched it or something like, you know what I mean? Like you felt it there and you when went to touch it. Once, I think it was back in like high school, like stung me because it was hiding my towel after the shower. Yeah. Now. Stung me twice actually. The other thing I got and I wanted to, we're going to show this actually at nighttime, but I want to just talk about it real quick, is I got post, um, as you can see, the post little things on top of there, but they're lights. They're solar lights. Oh, okay. And uh, I want to show, show that, and I'll talk more about that as soon as it gets dark. So we'll continue this when it gets dark. All right. So we're at nighttime now. Well, it's not really dark, dark, but our lights are on outside, so I wanted to show you guys what these lights look like. Take a look at them, Tom. Do they not look like there's flames in them? They do. Can you see them in there? Like, uh, what if I shine a little light over here? If I get closer to them. Yeah, but it don't look as good that. Like, stand, go back a little ways. I'm going to put the light here and see if you can. Does it pick it up? Hold on, let me try lowering the setting here. See if it. 
Mm, no? It, it's a little hard to okay, tell. Okay, let me, let me try one other thing. I'm going to try turning on the uh, spotlight over here. Because I don't think that'll it, turn them off. It, it's the light balance that's getting it. Maybe from like over here. How's that? Mm, I think the light balance is still a little off because you can't really... Like you can see from the light, like on that one, that it's like flickering. Yeah. But you can't really I'm gonna tell. I'm going to go right up the one. Like, let me see. What I'll that try. Like. Right up to it. Oh, yeah, not that close, though. A little bit back further. Yeah, you can't really tell, can you? On, Man, this camera does not do it justice, guys. I mean. Unfortunately, I mean, no. These things are the coolest things ever. They really are. I mean, they look like actual flames in these things. They do. And the camera doesn't do it justice. I wonder if you would have brought out the other one. I don't think that would have mattered. I think it's just too much of a light difference. Well, one of the cameras is better in really low light settings. Yeah, but th this, I don't think either way it yeah, would do anything. Yeah, I just wish anything. that you guys could, could really appreciate what these look like out here. Yeah, maybe if you like look from inside, like out the window, maybe like having lights on inside old. Yeah, we'll try we'll that. Like that light. But guys, anyway, these lights are the bomb. Love them. Uh, looks like little flames in there. I just realized Yeah, you that know, putting flames up on the fence that, that had burned. burned down. I do notice that this one's a little crooked. I'm going to have to... Oh. oh. I thought I put... Yeah, that's why it's a little crooked. Such a bird sat on it. <laughs> Probably. I'm going to have to tighten those screws up in that one. But yeah, I think they're really cool. And I wish that you guys could see that because... Uh, they are really cool looking good lights and I and I wish I could remember the brand name of them, but I can't so mm. Guys, I hope you like this video. I wish you could see them. Uh, we'll go in the house real quick and try to see if we can Show these through the window. Yeah, my phone got the best lighting, but it, it gives you a better sense of they look like flames now I, th I think they do anyway, don't you on the camera? Um, on that? Well enough, I guess looks better than the, the other camera but Yeah, guys this is what I wanted to show you because I think they look really cool. They look like torches. And then I think it actually looks better in person than it does naturally on the cameras. Guys, until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet and relax. I'll meet you at the lounge with my tiki torches. Or they're not really tiki torches. They're just torches on my fence. <laughs>